Hey, hello, welcome. In this video, we will discuss about what will happen if we will on bench in IT companies. There can be various companies like Deloitte, KPMG, Wipro, Essential, TCS and all. So there are various students who put a query on me and ask that what will happen if they are on bench? Is there anything need to be worried about and all these things I will discuss in this video. So let's begin. So here if you will see that there are a few questions that multiple students ask about that. The questions related to will they fire or they provide the salary or they hold the salary and all their various discussion. So we will discuss it at every point in this video. We like you don't need to be worried about that. I will explain you each and every point in details. Right. So if you have any other queries, you can even make a comment or then don't forget to subscribe this channel and like the video. Let, let's begin. So here you can see the first question is that will they fire you? Will they fire you, you when you are on bench? Is it something like that? When you are on bench, they will fire you. So friend, I let me just clarify that, that if you are on bench, does not mean that they are going to fire you? So the main point is that if you are on bench, it means that whatever skills you have, they don't have project based on your skills. So what do you need to do in this case? You don't need to be worried about that. What you can do is that just you can inform your manager and you can you can just be in touch with your manager and you can share your skills and the main part focus on learning. So whenever you are on bench, your first priority should be on learning. So whatever skills you have, you can go and you can do mastering in that skills. Just like you are working on Java. So what we can do in that? You can go and you can specifically focus on your Java programming. You can do various programming. You can learn various skills in that domain only. And obvious, if you want to learn new skills in that period, whenever you are on bench, that the period we can consider as a golden period. There are various students, various employees who is worried about that. That the I am on the bench, will they fire, they deduct my salary and all. Don't worry about that. The main focus is is your you should have is to gain new skills, gain whatever skills you have, focus on on the, the making the sharp of that skills. Another question is that will they deduct your salary or they that they 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 hold your salary, something like that. So no, guys. So that is not going to be happen. They are not going to deduct your salary, they are not going to deduct or what we can say, hold your salary, nothing else. If you are on bench, it, it's not your problem. If you are on bench, it, it means that the, the whatever skills you have, they hire you for that skills. They doesn't have pro project for that skills, for the request set. So what you will do is that you just focus on learning, be in touch with your managers, then do discussion, whatever learning you can gain. And once suppose you are working in Java and you got the skills related to Python, just to connect with your manager and ask them that, yes, I have learned new technologies during this period. And this is the skills. If you have any any project like that, you can make a comment on that. You can you can add me on the loop also. And obviously, there are various students or the employee they are asking that will they will they ask us to resign? So uh, this is quite a difficult questions to answer. That the, when you are on bench, will they they ask you to resign? So as I know that yeah, there are few companies, few small companies we can say that they ask you to resign. The big companies like TCS, Vipro, Capgemini, Deloitte, KPMG, even they have enough project. If you don't have the skills or like you don't have the, they don't have the project, they can put you in another project and ask you to learn that technology. But if you are in a small company, there can be the problem. That can be the problem. There can be chances they can ask you to resign. Why they will ask you to resign? Because they don't want to take anything upon him. They ask you to resign and go to anywhere else. Even one of my friend is working as an iOS developer. Their company asked him to resign or they said that you can you can check for other companies. As we are not going to continue with you. We don't have project like that. So that was the fifth one can have the little bit tricky question that will they ask you to resign. But yes, and obvious if you are in big companies, you don't need to be worried about that. So what you can do is the main main point you can do is that you can focus on your learning focus on life skills whatever you can gain and obvious be in touch with your manager it if you are not in project doesn't mean that you are free you can go anywhere no you have to log in your system on time you can you have to log out and obvious when when you are on the, the 
any organization make a team be connected with your team and ask basic basic questions while learning if you are learning and asking questions to your managers or the two team leads they they will get to know that yeah you are working on learning and all so that will help you out so nothing else no need to be worry about that they are not going to fire you they are not going to ask you to deduct your salary and even they are not going to hold your salary nothing else so don't worry about that just focus on learning the one point i can i can say is that so thank you so much for watching if you have any other queries you can make a comment on that thank you so much